Good morning to all of you, or afternoon, I don't know what time you are going to watch this video, but anyway, greetings to you all. I'm here with Brion, you know, he has accepted to be the director of the Hospitality Brigade, a name that I chose, I think is very proper for what we are going to do when we reopen the church. So the good news is that we are going to reopen the church a week from today, so we will be opening on Wednesday, May 27. So, several things that we are going to do. First of all, we, we are asking people to be patient because there are going to be some rules and regulations that have to be followed. Give you, uh, I'm going to give you the information about the masses and so on and the sacraments. And then I'm going to invite Brion to speak about the logistics because he's going to be the director and he's going to need many volunteers for, for that hospitality brigade. So, the masses as we reopen, are going to be from Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. They are going to be live stream, um, 11 a.m., no masses in the evening, only one mass on, on, during the weekdays. The masses during the weekend are going to be 5 p.m. on Saturday, Sunday, 8 a.m., 11 a.m., 2 p.m. in Spanish, and 5 p.m. We consolidated two masses, the noon and the 10, in order to, um, and we are going to do just one at 11, in order to give more space for the cleaning crew. They have to disinfect the church, the bathrooms, and the whole building, and sanitize after every single mass, and that's going to be a long, long and difficult process, but we have to do it. So that's the schedule of masses. Now, things that you should know. First of all, the dispensation from the obligation to attend Sunday Mass remains in effect for all in the Archdiocese through Sunday, June 28. So it means that if you, don't, if you cannot come to Mass, you still can see the Mass, live stream Mass, in, and you can you know, do your spiritual communion at home, and you will be okay. Those wishing to participate in Mass and receive Holy Communion can do so by attending any Mass any day of the week. Not necessarily, not necessarily you have to come on the weekend, but you can come any day during the week. Now, who should continue to pray using the live stream and not attend Mass at church? Listen to this. This is very important. The people 65 years of age and plus, we ask you to please stay home and pray with us on the live stream. I know it's hard, but um, it's for your own safety. Anyone who has a temperature above 99.6, please stay home. Anyone who is immunosuppressed, please stay home. Anyone who has been exposed to COVID-19 or exhibiting any sickness or symptoms, please stay home. So, uh, for confessions, reconciliation, um, we are going to open for confessions on Saturday, May 30th, from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., as normally as we did it before the pandemic, but we are going to do it outside. Father Brian and myself are going to be there one hour outside in the mall by the, the San Francis Garden, and um, that's how we are going to do it. In that way, we don't have to sanitize and do all the procedure that we have to do when we do some things inside. The anointing of the sea continues as normal. We had done it before and during the pandemic, so you have to call the office and, and if there is an emergency or so, then we'll, we'll do that, we'll coordinate that. Baptisms are not going to happen during the Mass. Again, baptisms are not going to happen during the Mass. We are going to do private bat baptisms, so if you want to do a private baptism, you have to call the office and we'll schedule it. The funerals, we will continue, we have done it during and before the pandemic and we'll continue to do so following the new rules and regulations and 
for that, you, you can call Raj in the office and we start the process of, um, you know, coordinating that, of planning that. So I know this is a lot of uh, things to think about, but everyone's safety is the highest priority. Please have patience as we navigate through this new chapter. Continue to pray for an end to the pandemic for all who are sick and our first responders. Now, there is going to be a phase two. The phase two will begin approximately on August 15, and it includes uh, plans for reopening Eucharistic adoration, first communion celebrations, and religious education classes. We are waiting for information from the bishops regarding rescheduling of confirmations. And again, frequent updates will be provided to all of you. As soon as we get it, we will just send you the information or I will, pre I will bring it to you through the um, celebration of the masses. We need many volunteers to assist the hospitality brigade and I'm going to just uh, invite Brion to just speak about the logistics of this um, new group. So thank you. So hello, family. Hopefully um, this uh, finds you safe and sound. Um, I just want to share with you that, uh, as uh, our pastor said, that your health and safety is our highest priority. And to that end, uh, we've engaged in a planning process to make sure that your experience here is a good one and you are safe and healthy after attending mass. Um, we've had a, uh, a few processes that have begun, uh, such as Rod has asked the uh, Knights of Columbus here uh, to assist in the parking lot um, as uh, we begin to return to mass. Um, I'm going to organize the ushers and as uh, the pastor calls the hospitality brigade. He really likes that, and we're going to keep that uh, name. <laughs> uh, Rod and Joyce are going to uh, also start to reach out to um, as many people as possible so that we can have a robust uh, group of ushers. Um, but if you are interested in becoming an usher, you're 55 years and younger. Um, there will be a link on our website where you can click to sign up to become an usher. Also... I'm going to host two training sessions for all ushers. Uh, the first one will be Tuesday, May 26, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And we'll also have another one on Saturday, May 30th, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Please, uh, if you're interested, again, 55 uh, and younger, uh, in good health and don't have any of the other underlying conditions that the pastor spoke about, uh, please come and join us. Your church needs you. Um, Joyce is busy drafting a communication to include a reservation process, which I'll speak about a little bit later. Um, Chris, the uh, maintenance supervisor, has two crews. He did a test on the cleaning process and the Cleaning of the entire church and the bathrooms took approximately 45 minutes. I'll continue to work with him on those logistics to ensure that mass will start on time and that everyone is healthy and safe. Um, we'll also have uh, pew markers and signs uh, throughout the sanctuary and in the parking lot to ensure that um, you understand uh, the new rules and guidance to make sure we keep everyone safe and healthy. Um, all people will enter through the exterior doors outside of the uh, church. You'll enter the foyer and then you will be directed to um, where you need to stand in order to enter the sanctuary. We'll have offertory baskets in the narthex with two ushers on either side of them. And when you enter the, uh, about to enter the sanctuary, you will drop off uh, your offertory in that basket. And you'll also receive at that time a one-time program, one-time use program. So that simply means that you'll use it during the service and then we ask that you take that with you uh, when you leave. Maintenance, um, the maintenance personnel at this church will, will monitor the bathroom usage. Um, we ask that you limit it uh, 
that there's only three people uh, in the bathroom at a time. And then when you re are returning to the sanctuary, we ask that you uh, wash your hands or disinfect your hands. And there'll be disinfecting stations uh, in the hallway when you uh, leave the bathroom. We're going to need about 12 to 15 ushers for the Saturday and Sunday masses. So again, if you can, age 55 and under, um, in relatively good health, please uh, sign up for the trainings. Uh, and then on the weekdays, we'll only need three ushers. And so if you can help with that as well, um, please do so. Please sign up. Now, if you have too many people um, that want to attend mass um, and the sanctuary is full, the Knights of Columbus that are working the park a lot are going to ask you to stay in your car, um, live stream the mass, and then they will distribute communion uh, in the parking lot to you outside of your car. So again, if there's not enough room in the sanctuary, we've complete, we're completely full. Uh, no worries, you can still live stream the mass in your car, on your device, and uh, one of the Knights of Columbus will provide communion for you. Um, we want to make sure that we uh, extend that offer to our 65 and older um, people in the parish that they can absolutely come to the church. Um, but we recommend if you are over the age of 65 that you live stream in the parking lot and then receive communion there. Let's see. Next, if you are planning to join us here at the church. Um, we ask that you take your temperature before you come to church. Um, if it's 99.6 or higher, we simply ask that you stay home. Um, we are going to require face masks for everyone. Please, we ask that you provide your own face mask. If you have children who can't wear their mask um, the whole duration of the mask, um, we ask that you please live stream. Um, if you forget your mask, unfortunately, you can't enter the sanctuary and for your safety and the safety of others. However, you may stay in your car and again, live stream the mass and communion will be distributed in the parking lot. Now, there is a reservation process for each mass. Um, you can sign up at a link that will be posted on the website for the mass that you're attending. Um, if you're having trouble with uh, the sign-in form that we provide on that website, you can simply email Joyce Juris at jjuris at transfiguration.com with how many people will be attending mass and the mass time that you prefer. Now, if you arrive at church without a reservation, you'll be asked to wait until all those with reservations have been seated. If there's room in, in the sanctuary, absolutely you're welcome and we'll usher you in. If we're full, you can still again stay in your car, live stream the mass uh, on your phone and communication, uh, communion will be distributed to you at that time. Now, in terms of the church building, the church has been deep clean, as well as all surfaces around uh, the restrooms and in the hallways. And after each mass, the church and restrooms will be sanitized once again. Only the entrance open through the mall area of the front church you can uh, arrive in and be directed into. We ask that you arrive no earlier than 30 minutes prior to Mass and no later than 15 minutes prior to Mass. Again, we ask that you arrive no earlier than 30 minutes prior to Mass and no, no later than 15 minutes prior to Mass. All the pews will be roped off to accommodate social distancing or that six foot apart. Family members may sit together, however. We'll have one-way aisles, the nursery won't be available. We'll have all non-contact greetings. So we ask that even if you see a friend across and you're separated coming into the sanctuary, we ask that you have a no contact greeting. Simply give them a, the sign of peace or, or smile or something. Holy water font should, uh, re will remain empty. We'll have sanitizer available, but we ask that you bring your own for use prior to and after the reception of, the Holy, of Holy Communion. Again, face masks was, must be worn at, by all, except the priest while praying the mass. We'll have no physical contact during the Our Father or the sign of peace. Again, the one-way aisles for Holy Communion, the ushers will assist you. There will be three communion stations that the ushers will assist you to. And for the time being, the precious blood will not be offered and communicants should receive in their hands. 
Worship aids are gonna, again gonna be single use. We ask that you take those with you. Congressional singing is discouraged. Um, however, you can meditate while the choir is singing. A collection basket, again, is gonna be placed in the foyer right before you enter the sanctuary. Please simply drop your envelope into the basket upon entering the church. We ask that no food be taken into the sanctuary, no food or drink in the sanctuary. The deaf ministry uh, uh, will be available at the Sunday at 11 a.m. mass. Um, ushers will assist you not only in entering the sanctuary, but also after dismissal. It'll be similar to exiting an airplane from the back to the front, uh, similar to exiting an airplane. We ask that you please go directly to your, your cars at, at the end of the mass um, and not linger in the foyer or in the parking lot. Um, bathrooms on the first floor will be open and again limited to three people. But please encourage all family members to use the bathrooms at home before coming to church. And the second floor will remain closed, including all restrooms. The water fountains will, of course, be turned off. And the priests will return to the sacristy after mass. And this is to limit their exposure and keep our priests healthy as well. With that, we just want to remind you that um, your safety and health is, um, is paramount, and we will make that a, um, the highest priority for us here um, as we develop these plans for us to uh, go back to Mass coming next week. Thank you, Brion, and I uh, take this opportunity to thank all of those who are going to volunteer for this uh, hospitality brigade. Really, I mean, your um, contribution is going to be essential for us to be able to provide safety for all of our parishioners. So thank